Welcome to Pod Watcher, the official podcast of Watcher Entertainment. I'm Shane Madey. I'm Stephen Lim. And I'm Lizzie Lockard. This is the show where we chat about whatever's on our minds every week. And this week we're talking about pajamas. Shopping. Comfort shows, mm, baby. Yeah. We're talking comfort shows. Yeah. And before we start off today, uh, just a reminder to subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening. YouTube, Apple, Spotify. And leave us a, a comment or a like. It really helps the show. It goes a long way. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Ryan's not here. Ryan's ill. Sorry. Um, I'm in the middle, so I feel like I should be hosting. No. Oh. But I don't really want to. <laughs> We're all the hosts of the show. I mean, Lizzie is the surrogate host today. S- something about being in the middle, though, feels... Uh, the pressure. T- I don't like it. I don't like being over here. Oh, I hate that seat. I always come in first, and I sit down on one of the corner pieces, because that seat right there... Is this your know. preferred seat? I like a seat where I can lean, and I feel like I won't be able to lean there with the location of the mic. And this one? Is my watch too loud? Do you hear it ticking? <laughs> what? It's no. A loud watch. <laughs> He's so oh, anxious. I'm having such a hard time today. <laughs> <laughs> I need more coffee. I was watching an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, and they like switch seats in the dinner because someone can't middle. <laughs> Yeah, you're not, a, you're right not a good now. middle. You're not a good middle. And <laughs> Ryan good is a really middle. good middle. He's a great middle. He is. He's a great middle. I'm always the end of the table. Always. Never, never middle. And I, I'm in a in a concert. I you know in like the pits and everything. When you you have an open pit, I'm always at the end. I don't I don't like going in the middle. So it's I'm too claustrophobic. You're not a big mosher. In fact, recently I was at the uh, this weekend. I was at the People's Choice Award. Whoa. I was. Oh, big my deal. Friend, Stephen Lim, baby. Uh, Simu was the people's host this weekend. People's host. Host of the people. He's the actual people's Simu. host. Well, I'm the people's list. You, uh, right. right which I've never claimed to be the people's host. Adam Sandler, he won the Icon Award. And by the way, his body of work is crazy. Like they showed like his hits and, and it literally was like a 10 minute uh, session, like a little montage. But yeah. his, his uh, speech was him accepting the people's sexiest man award well now that's like, funny as a joke that. obviously but uh it was a very funny bit he's got that all figured out how, now how he's just making stuff over at netflix he makes like 10 movies a year do you guys have a favorite adam sandler movie <sighs> Ooh, can i say it punch drunk love Ooh. is that too indie <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't count adam sandler indie <laughs> Um, if I'm going We're talking classic Adam, let me think about his sort of classics. Uh, Happy Madison production. A Happy uh, Madison production. Yes. I do like Billy Madison a lot, and this I I don't know how any of these hold up. Um, yeah, but, for sure. Uh, and the I really do like the Wedding Singer. I feel like that one's largely pretty funny, but yeah, Billy Madison's probably. Mm. I don't know. What Good about you? Uh, I've always. I've always been a sucker for Fifty First Dates. I was just about to say that. Never seen yeah. it. Just about what? to say that. That's I've a great movie. It. Samwise Gamgee. He uh, wears a mess shirt. You know, you know the guy, the actor who plays him. What's his name? Sean. Sean Aston. Yeah, it's before Lord of the Rings. He uh, is this post Rudy. Yes, pre Samwise. Pre Samwise, and he has a mess shirt, and like he like makes his pecs bounce, and I oh. think about that a lot. That sounds fun. No, it's good. 50, Especially 50 when First Dates of, did come out after the I think it, Lord of the Rings. Did it really? 2004. Get out. Yeah. Oh. So he was sort of in the middle of... He's like fact-checking us. I don't like having Matt in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm make up Get facts. him out of here. You're fired. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Scram. <laughs> okay, whatever. Maybe I just didn't see 50 Lizzie First Dates. Lizzie just ejecting people like Trump at a rally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so he... So that was... I mean, it probably came out before... Return of the King, though, or after Return of the King, I don't know. When did those all come out? What? Yeah, I when did Return of the King? Two thousand one, two, three. Those are oh yeah. Return of the King came out because so, yeah, two thousand four Oscars were when it's it racked up all the. That's the awards. wild. Uh, real quick, back to the yeah. Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh, yeah, Simu, Simu. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was it was cool because I mean it's People's Choice Award, which you can tell clearly like it's the award that the celebrities don't want to go to. Sure, the show. Mm-hmm. I mean. <laughs> well, the way it worked was <laughs> like direct people. <laughs> sorry, and well, 
Okay. <laughs> There's one thing celebrities hate, it's people making choices. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. But they like the system was, you know, it, the celebrity would get their award and then like a lot of them didn't want to stay around for the whole thing. So they would leave. Mm. But there was a system <laughs> that they would pull random people in to sit in oh, their seat, seat after they leave. So they were seat fillers. Were, were you, you ever a seat filler? No, I wanted to when I first moved out of here. My aunt lived in California for years and when I was younger, she told me about being a seat filler at the Oscars or something. And I was like, my dream. Yeah. <laughs> it is It is no longer my dream. Do they pay for that? I think they do. I think they like got a hundred people not in that much. seat filler like, area. Pen, bullpen. Yeah, I was not. I was just like hanging out by the seat fillers. Do you get to eat? Do you get food? And the food was like Drinks? lunchable. I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't so think lunchable. it was tiny. It wasn't actually lunchable, but it was tiny. It was there was not enough food for you to eat. Sorry, Lizzie, what were you saying? Oh, I was gonna say I don't think seat fillers get to eat. I think they have yeah. a bunch of rules oh, yes. where it's like don't talk to the people you're sitting with, don't look at them, don't do anything. Give them you're just wings it's, your it's warm body because it's the people's choice award. But then the people are treated like. <laughs> Get back in line. <laughs> not a lot. Not everyone's a coastal elite like we are. They don't. They don't know about award shows. Can you tell? Yeah, explain. Yeah, me. yeah. So like, okay. Um. Oh, I was starstruck by Tom Hiddleston. The man sure. is beautiful in all of his glory. Just commanded the entire room. He got his award though, and straight up left. Just walked out the door. Good power to him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he didn't want to be there. Um. But as he's going out, then there's a there's like a line in the pit, thirty people long. And they say, okay, you, 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 you guys sit in Tom's seat and his friend. Do they find seat. like their closest, like, okay, that guy's got longish hair. He no, looks a little bit mischievous. It's just a line. Fill in for Hiddleston. It's not even like, yeah, it's not even like that. They're not trying to find doppelgangers. No. That'd be funny if like, as the award went on, you just started to see people who just Similar sort of look like the Wish.com versions of celebrities. <laughs> yeah. I think they're pre-vetted good looking people though. What were there any other big names you saw there? And uh, Jennifer Aniston was there. Aniston, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen her, her in person? No. Whoa. No. I don't think so. And I, I was with Tammy. So I can say this, but I, I couldn't stop looking at Jennifer Aniston. You were like, how, how are you? This heart eyeballs, like <laughs> your tongue rolls out. <laughs> All right, I set myself up for this. I'll drop something. He has to like pull it down like a shutter. <laughs> <laughs> but she came out. I think for Adam Sandler. Like she came out because she wanted to present the award yeah. for Adam. Yeah, it was very Great. cool. No. Uh, she stuck around for a bit. It was a good time. Good time. That's nice. fun. Yeah. What's your favorite award show you've been to? The one where I got an award was definitely the dopest one. Nice. The character media, the one that we talked about last week. Or how, two weeks uh, ago. how heavy's give how's us a, oh, that what's one the heft? Heavy. What yeah. that heft be like? Probably about like uh, a small toddler. Wow. Oh, into, yeah, what? it felt like uh, it. Dimensions or weight? Just weight. 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 Yeah. A small toddler is like 30 pounds. Okay, maybe not a toddler. Yeah, well, maybe like a, between an infant. What's a toddler? Three? Two? Yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah. Heavier than some of my friend's babies, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I've been to award shows <laughs> did where... You, did you <laughs> hold them both at the same time? <laughs> I hold them both. Baby in one hand, <laughs> award in the other. Like a justice <laughs> weight. Uh, VidCon was... Vid, not VidCon. What was it? Streamies? Streamies. Yeah, that was fun. Hey. This year we all went. You guys won. Three times Streamy Award winner right here. Yeah. Bang. Bang. And uh, I wish I, I wish I kind of prepared my speech better for those. Because mm-hmm. if you go back and watch my Streamy Award uh, speeches, they're bad. They're really bad. That's, I didn't. I didn't think we were okay. going to win. We were like up against like Sean Evans from Hot Ones, and uh, I don't know other cool people. Yeah. That was fun. I, we Good went stuff. and didn't win, and just got to enjoy the dinner. Were you guys nominated for an award? I think we were. Yeah, I think we There's were. There's no Ghost Hunter category. No, it was like comedy or something. But I don't think BuzzFeed Unsolved is a, co- you know, that wasn't a comedy. It was some serious investigation. Um, <laughs> was, I don't that, remember. Was it a what comedy? It I, don't, I don't think it's a funny show. I don't think Ghost Files is very funny. <laughs> You're talking to the producer of Ghost Files and you're left. Well, is it is Ghost Files a comedy? Well, Lizzie takes I, it very seriously. I love Heading into season three, my notes for it was 
less bits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I do plan to maintain that. You want less there were, comedy. I do think there could be less. Uh, when I, I think it, season two was really fun and I, I enjoyed the length of some episodes, but I was like, we could cut some of these bits. Yeah, you know, I think in, in large part, <laughs> we'll, we'll go into these places uh, and there's... At the end of the day, the amount of bits compared to actual ghost hunting is, you know, there's probably more talking than not talking, which not necessarily a bad thing. Some of the some of the tools require talking. Yeah. Moments of silence. Usually when Ryan's like, let's take a moment of silence. It's maybe 10 seconds. I, I mm. think there's more than that. Collectively, there oh. tends like 10 to 20 maybe I, every once in a while you guys will get a long one in there but not a lot is edited out of those I think mostly because you're used to just talking so much on camera yeah. mm. and it I'm happy to talk less I mean I, you know I think it's fine we yeah. just after this season we were like maybe we do talk less yeah we'll see we should we'll see. I, like, fully, I like that uh, we should do a fully silent episode like Buffy in black and white oh that's yes. good you know? or no, <laughs> like no a video. silent movie no video no sound a podcast no video <laughs> <laughs> like John Cage yeah. that'll be really oh good. Unsolved was uh, what was it best documentary nominated for best documentary best documentary, best documentary. best documentary wow nice um, nice. Lost Ooh. to the Secret World of Jeffree Star Shane oh Bellacy. Jesus Christ. classic <laughs> Jeffree <laughs> Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Now, these sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresher three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. And lucky for you, you don't have to compromise to get both cleanliness and comfort, as Miracle Sheets feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels without the high price tag of other luxury brands. And I would know. And they're made with your skin in mind. The bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Watcher to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo Watcher at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, why, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Watcher and use the code Watcher to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash Watcher to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. It's been a while since I went to a, like a, a function with, with like celebs there. I'm trying to think of the last uh, famo I saw on the street. Who was is, who is your first uh, L.A. celebrity spot? Mm, like, oh, when I first got, when I first moved out here, I'm trying yeah. to think of like the first one. I can't remember at all. Mine was Natalie Portman. Or you mean Portman. like anywhere? Whoa, that's a good one. That's yeah. good. Natalie Portman at Olive in Time in Burbank. It was the first, it was, I'd maybe been out here six months or something and I didn't even recognize it was her at first. I used to hate salads. I don't know if you guys have been to the Midwest. Midwest? sucks at salads salads can actually be good and i hated them until i moved to <laughs> yeah. la la knows they how haven't to do cracked salads. them in the midwest no, they have not and they're not trying no <laughs> i used no, to eat them at not. panera bread hey the yeah. salads of panera bread not bad where's panera bread from matt where's where did panera bread start i could be mistaken, but they're everywhere but i'm pretty sure it started in st louis because it was originally called the st louis bread company really wow ding dong wow. ding dong look at that <laughs> Ring a ding ding. Yeah. Okay. Sun, it's not bad, right? The rest of the Midwest needs to hop on the Panera train and learn about salads. I love Panera. Yeah. Maybe um, it's love gone it. downhill. I, I, no, I, I love Panera. Do you ever have the Sierra turkey? I don't know if it's still on menu. No, no I, I get know. the same thing like every time because I just Sierra love it. They changed good. like a decade, 15 years ago, maybe. They changed their noodle soup recipe and that was devastating. For yeah. Me. Do you know it's about worse over Do you know about how to steal from them? I've said this before. No. And this works most of the time. You go, you know how you, when you order a meal, they say, uh, do you want uh, bread or an apple? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, so you're at the register. Yeah, how can you want bread or an apple? I would say, oh, I have an apple. Then you go get your meal mm-hmm. and it's usually a different person giving it to you. And you say, <laughs> apple? I asked, but pick. be sure to pick it up. Yeah, you got to get your germs on it. <laughs> the touch, if you touch it, it's yours rule. It's apple. And I don't even know that you de- <laughs> have to pick it up. Sometimes they just put it in the bag. You open up the bag and you're like, huh, I, I thought I asked for a for bread and they'll be like oh sorry about that and they'll just toss it in there they're not going to take the apple away wow so, yeah. free apples free heard it here first yeah <laughs> by the we, way I we talked some, about stealing from restaurants yeah last i week. did see some feedback on that episode and someone was like don't you ever steal pens because we bring those in ourselves and i want to again clarify that i said if it looks like a pen someone brought in like a uniball vision elite or something don't take that yeah just i think take we, the brand I think we addressed that during the episode. Mm-hmm. I know, but it seems like it bears repeating. I love a good pen. Oof, it makes me so mad when people steal my pens. Of course. So now I, I, after, I, I have to, now I feel like I have to confess this. What have you <gasps> done? You were Did, so adamant. I, I was very adamant to not what? steal from restaurants and not steal from places. And then I was at the People's Choice Award and you put there was your a very beautiful bowl. You put your Tammy's bag. A very beautiful bowl. <laughs> that beautiful I, bowl? That a bowl? A, a little bowl. What do you mean a bowl? There was a bowl. It's really nice. You stole, you a, stole bowl? a bowl, and I was like, "Look, he's a kleptomaniac." I want a People's Choice bowl. Do we? Did it? Was it brand? Did it say People's Choice? It was not branded. PCB, it was just a baby. bowl, probably from CB2 or something. It was just a bowl. I do love CB2. Sponsor us, like a ramekin, or it was just like a. It was a square bowl. Was there anything in it? A square, square bowl. bowl. Square bowl. Can you like, bring this is it? Dope. I, I'll photo? bring it. Ah, uh, I, I, I you're, just felt you're like a I, sick man. Where was the event? Because it was probably, you know, it's probably owned by the venue. Of course, it happens the day after we record the episode about me saying don't steal from restaurants. But it was the People's Choice Award. I, I also wanna, don't you know, know if you should admit this because they could just say, hey, give us that back. I didn't ask for it back. Uh, <laughs> <People magazine. laughs> because I, it was probably from a rental company that they rented it from That's and they have to true. pay like L&D for. Well, what, hey, know. let's see. Uh, hey. You know? They had my friend host the show, so that's true. They got their value. Said, so take fuck it up with them. Simu, baby. <laughs> yeah, ask him for throw the bowl bag. You make Simu. No, 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 have no, to no, 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 a little place called the Olive Garden. Oh, Mayhaps you have heard Garden. of it. Sticks. And we would just like eat a breadstick, put three in the bag. Oh, eat a breadstick, yeah. put three in the bag. We did it with soup one time. Well, don't recommend. Soup? How do you soup your bag? Ziplocs? Yeah, Ziplocs. Whoa. Mine was fine. One of my friends, she did not uh, <laughs> zip her lock <laughs> oh, no. as well as she should have. Well, the trick then Soupy I feel like purse. is to just line the whole purse with, with with like a plastic or something and then you live know. and you learn or Next get time, like a camel you... back and you know you ever have a camel oh, bag? oh i'd There's love to throw that guy in there soup. look yeah this, this is, is not sponsored by arup but we did a thing with them a while ago and i'm obsessed with this thing you got a scent on there i love it yeah i got the cherry one and look here's the thing i don't know that it particularly makes me feel like i'm drinking cherry water but i like the scent of the cherry thing so it's like I like to smell it and getting to smell it, I, the tax is taking a sip of water. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you know fun. what I mean? Oh, yeah. so it works for you. It works. Not oh. how they intended, but it's working, <laughs> you know? And justifies the means. Air up. Um, <laughs> what's the... I've been to Olive Garden, I think, once or maybe twice in my life. Really? I think by the time I had gone there, the... Breadsticks were so hyped, but I have to wonder because I found them very lackluster. Oh no! Don't hate on all. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm saying I think they were overhyped for me, and maybe I just had unreal expectations. That's on me. But is part of the appeal that there are there are they bottomless? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's endless. Is that? Yes. What people are as much bread as you want, my guy. Yeah. Because you go to you go to Olive Garden, you get a soup and salad for five bucks. Yeah. And you just chow down on bread. Okay. Yeah. That's the way. I really like their minestrone. All of their food is pretty subpar, but it also just kind of like hits. It's like pickle chips. I'm like, I'm, this grosses me out, but I can't stop eating them. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know what I mean? Well, I'm never going to go there again. Last time I That's went, okay. it was kind of depressing, actually. Uh, 
in LA? I, mm-hmm, up in Burbank. And, I was going to um, say Burbank, I assume. <laughs> yeah, Burbank. Uh, I went in and there was a huge wait and I was with one of my friends and um, they they were like, how many are you? And we're like, we're two. And, you know, in the in the lobby, there was an entire wedding party and extended family and the most miserable looking bride I have ever seen in my life. And she's in her wedding gown, you know, and I'm just like, how I want to know the story, you know, if you hear this, maybe they love she did not, she did not want to be at all. She's having a rough, you day know there. and the if they had wedding not happen was the groom I, there I, the groom was there oh, okay, the groom okay. was there the bride was there the bridal parties were there extended family was there and like i don't know if they just rolled up to olive garden being like i'm not gonna make a reservation for my wedding meal huh. yeah but highly recommend if you are getting married and are eating at olive garden to make a reservation yeah um because otherwise you'll be stuck sitting in the waiting room they were there when we arrived and when we left oh boy they probably like had a lot of people flower. too i would imagine yeah 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 uh-huh. so anyway you know i was like hey so, you know i always liked <laughs> Tuff, <laughs> what do you like macaroni grill oh i've never been i love hey. macaroni it's like olive garden but a little bit elevated they let you draw on the tables there oh i have had it oh yeah, i yeah, love yeah, yeah, a draw yeah. on i went the there table with place. my family before we went to see alien resurrection Yeah. I'm watching all the alien movies. With Are my you? Roommate. Yeah. Well, what are you on? I don't even know, man. I like met the one. What so I think Al- I did the. Um, is it? We're watching Alien and Predator. I just watched Predator this weekend. The, we, Whoa. we kind of watched them a little out of order. I think we just did the one that was in L.A. Predator two. Two, but I think we watched three and maybe four. Three are you talking first? about Predators or Aliens? Uh, we've been watching them. So I'm losing track. Okay, man. so Alien One is with the Sigourney. So good, the yep. best one, Incredible. hands down. Alien Aliens. People is, would argue. We've seen. I mean, people. Well, some people would be wrong. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me in the comments. I um, uh, Alien and Aliens Alien are very different Predator. films. You know, Alien yeah. Aliens is more of a war movie. Obviously, uh, real fun. It's got yeah. its own vibe. Alien Three is the one where they're in the prison planet. Did you get to that one yet? That's a David Fincher one, which he... No, okay, no, that's... We do have that one next. So okay. we watched Predator... So you watched Predator, out of Predator Order, I, We've watched Alien oh, vs. Predator, order. and then the... What's the order. second Alien vs. Predator one? I haven't seen all the Alien vs. AVP, Predator. That's AVP, AVP, yeah, AVP 2 Requiem. Yeah, there Whoa. it is. Which so, is terrible. I think we've watched all of the Predator, then Alien vs. Predator, and now we're on 3, Alien 3, the Prison Planet one is nice. our next up, I think. Three and four both have a ton of stuff in them. It's really fun. They're okay. really regarded as, you know, not the I think best those are the series. only two I hadn't actually seen oh, before. Nice. So the, that will be... Are you be... going to do the Prometheus and uh, what's the other one? Covenant. Covenant, yeah, yeah. I like those. Yeah, they're fun. I, can't, I know I've seen Prometheus. I don't know if I've seen Covenant. Covenant's really fun. Um, and then you got Prey coming up and Prey kicks ass. Prey kicks ass. Oh, I really? also like the, the Nimrod uh, Predators... Predators mm, movie. I it's did like, not like that at all. No, I, I think there's some fun mm-hmm. stuff in it. It's not like that's the one with Adrian Brody. Yes. Um, all right. Not you have you, a lot no. going for you. Did you? <laughs> did How you exciting. Know, did you know that when they were uh, making Predator, uh, they were trying to come up with them, um, like the the costume sucked. So I think um, Arnold <clears throat> was like, "You got to talk to my friend Stan Winston," and Stan Winston was like on a plane. Jim Cameron was next to him. Because I think they were flying together or something, and uh, Jim Cameron was the one who came up with the the really yeah the little oh. mandibles. Oh, he was Jimmy like, C. you should do this, and he like sketched it out for him. Heck yeah! Would you like another? Wow, that's like so fact? iconic. Yeah, what do you got? Bill Paxton is the only actor to be killed by a predator, Terminator, and a xenomorph. Oh, oh wow! That that's, rules. That's R.I.P. Cool. Anyway, well, that's fun. Those are great. Those are great films, and we'll we'll check back in with you. Uh, in a few weeks and you yeah. Can, yeah will you pop in and say where you are and what yeah, you like we can know. have a full predator alien breakdown with you and discuss Great. the films i'll uh it might i'll yeah i'll let you know when we start making more progress my roommate is now basically moved in with her paramour so I, our viewing experience has slowed what quite did you just say her paramour what is a paramour her, her hot her lover her hot slice i did not know that was a word gabe paramour isn't that a band. Oh, whatever. It is, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, Paramore. That's that's a nice Am word. I, I like it. Now, the more you say it, the no, more I'm like, no, it's no, no, I'm going to start using it. Is it, can it refer to any? Tammy yes, would be your a, a romantic, uh, you know. Just like a yeah, partner. Up. Yes. Yeah. I want to get you the definition before you start swinging it all over the place. <laughs> Paramore. Paramore does mean a lover, especially the illicit partner of a married person. Oh. So maybe you don't say all that. The what illicit? Because it's, because it. Cause, Could mean like my Tammy is licit. My guma. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Your yes, guma. Yes. Okay. Are you one are you a loyal viewer? Like a, a loyal to your who you're watching something with, or will you just watch ahead without them? I'm pretty loyal about it, which is annoying. Um, because <laughs> you know, if I can't depend on my other person to show up, uh, yeah. I never get to the end of series. And I also so this actually kind of finally segues a little bit into my topic let's do it let's hit these topics <laughs> oh my god i forgot we had to do the I topics know, yeah. I know. all right um lizzie's topics so yes my topic was is comfort tv shows mm. yeah. um and the reason that i'm bringing this up is because right now i am re-watching the walking dead for like the mm. fifth time oh. which i actually don't know that i've ever made it to the end of walking dead but it's like, I'll start in the first six seasons or something. Mm. I'll just plow through. But um, I turn it on as it's, I have many comfort TV shows. And I, it always starts with like, oh, you know, like I'm multitasking. I need something in the background. I just got a wooble. You guys gotten any advertisements for those on your Instagram? Huh? No idea what you're now. talking about. What? They're like little crochet animal things okay they're cute wooble, wooble. Or you just, are you, let me just say it to my phone wooble and Send you're me ma- as for wooble. you're making these things so i yeah well, i was and making one showing. and i was like oh, yeah like this little okay. bunny fella or whatever that is um <clears throat> so i was like i want something i can kind of have on in the background so i turned on walking dead and now i'm you know i'm back in it um it's a crochet kit yes 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 um and so i am also when, my problem is once I get started on one of my comfort shows, all of the other content I am simultaneously consuming sort of gets pushed to the side, yeah. which is a problem because there's a new season of Love is Blind out. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not the show I thought you were going to bring up for some reason, but I was like, what is coming out right now? <laughs> Love is Blind. Which, which uh, country are they doing? You mean US? US. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so the past couple seasons I've watched with my buddies, Edgar and Harris, and, um, we, this, this season have brought my friend Elizabeth into the fold, my Mm -hmm. best friend. Mm -hmm. We're both named Elizabeth. We're really gross about it. (laughs) Um, but anyway, so bless her heart. She cannot not spoil things and so what we did is we got to, we all watched the first episode on our own because one of us had already seen it and so we're like okay we'll watch the first episode then we'll get together on saturday night we'll watch our two episode two episodes and then what are they dropping three a week is that how they do it i think they dropped six oh. total to begin with and now Whoa. i think they're maybe dropping two or three at a time <laughs> i'm not sure of the release schedule but we were like okay we'll just watch these two together and then we'll watch these next three on our own and then we'll circle back next week and keep going together. Um, and so I was like, don't give me spoilers I'm watching The Walking Dead. Yeah. You know, I'm mm-hmm. gonna mm-hmm. just don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. And Elizabeth cannot mm. not text about it. <laughs> and she kept spoiling things and I had not watched it because I was watching You block her Dead. ass. Yeah, I told her I was going to and I, you know, I wouldn't. But uh, she, I ended up leaving this group chat that i had been in with these three for like 10 years i was like i can't you can rejoin you know can you it won't give me the option do they have to invite me so i restarted a group chat with them after i'd finally caught up and they were like where where's all of our like previous conversations and i'm like you did this you (laughs) You did this yeah because she would talk about something and then edgar and harris would uh, like hop in and talk about it as well and i'm like all your history is just gone yeah devastating my history my years of history with these friends well they still probably have it somewhere right probably yeah i don't know it's just i think they can add you back into the old conversation I need I've done to this investigate that. It's so crazy yeah, how now, so weird. like, like I, for a while when cell phones first were kind of out there, your texts didn't really transfer that well. Mm-hmm. 
but now the phones just transfer them all. So like I'll look on my phone and sometimes just out of curiosity, I'll like scroll all the way to the end. <laughs> I have be like, 16 unread messages and I cannot find them. Oh, really? I have scrolled to the bottom of my It was so like, crazy thing. to just see like texts from like close to a decade ago. It's wild. Like, wow. Why yeah. doesn't iPhone do the thing where you can sort by unread? That makes me so upset. The fact that you can now mark your text as unread though. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so good. That took way too long for them to add that as a feature. Because so frequently I will either accidentally open a text that I just like, I can't respond yeah. to this right now. Or I'll want to, I'll see it and I'll be like, I need to respond to this later and keeping it unread. I'll go back. Oh, There's no know. way to mark yeah, all your stuff as unread, huh? Not all, or as you, read? Yeah, you, yeah, oh, I, I guess, don't know. Yeah, I guess not. I'm looking at it now. I haven't been able so to find it. So you've just got so. 16... I'm losing my mind, man. Wow. It just perpetually says you have 16 text messages. Yeah, I think That's it's 16. Rough. Hold on. Now I get it. I'd go crazy. Yeah, I, don't I, I would. My phone. Okay. I don't know what I would do. I might get a new number if I were you. I it's like when I pe see losing. people who have like thousands of unread emails. Wait a second. I am curious. How many unread 18. emails do you have right now in your email? Currently? Yeah. Right now. How crazy are you? It says 37. That's pretty good. I have four different emails connected to my phone. And be between the four of them, actually. I have 80 yeah. unread. Okay, so my personal one has 99 plus. I don't know how, what the number actually is. You sicken me. But then, yeah. That my, happens. My work one, hey, my work one, the one where you guys can talk to me, only 16. Um, Walking Dead. I remember watching like the first season or so. Mm -hmm. I don't think I finished it, but they, does it get bad? I feel like that was a show where like when it came out, similar to like Westworld, there's a lot of shows that yeah. come out. People mm -hmm. are so excited about them. They seem like, oh, this is a great new show. And then the they fact just that they just fall so precipitously and become so mm -hmm. uh, bad is so fascinating. Yeah, which is sad. But, you know, I, I have other comfort shows that like whew, Sister Wives, also horrible by the end. Sister Wives. Love it. There's like 19 seasons. I assume that's unscripted. Yeah, it's, it's about it's like a, reality um, show. yeah, it's a reality show. TLC, baby. I like, actually, it's not TLC anymore. Uh, I think they got rid of it. It's weird that that show would be on TLC. Why? The Learning Channel. Yeah, I guess it, you know you're learning about what it's like to be a sister wife. <laughs> you know, and maybe <laughs> learning about maybe why it's not a great idea. Originally on TLC, <laughs> they used to just have these hour long episodes that were essentially like the day in the life of a little person family. And those were so wildly popular yeah. that that's how all of their main programming turned to reality TV stuff. Mm. It's like how MTV is just all ridiculousness. No now. music. Ridic no, it's all that Rob, uh, what's his name? Oh, Rob oh actually ridic ridiculousness. Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. It's like, shows just or channels will find like one thing that kind of works and then they're like all right this well is our it's personality antithetical now. to our entire mm -hmm. <laughs> like yeah. mm -hmm. channel id true but, tv did that as well true well true tv what did it start out as it was like crime it wasn't crime it was crime i think oh what? now what is it and now it's like comedy and like really yeah, yeah. Like one of impractical the jokers and like their oxygen just went full into true crime and they were like we need oxygen, oxygen. is true crime yeah now? whoa Oh, know. because it was like a it was like a channel for women. Yes, and they found that that was what yeah. sold. We do but love then the, crime, but then they pivoted because they were like the name's oxygen, and it was like content that will leave you breathless. <laughs> 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 like that. I was like, hey, you know what? Hey, yeah, yeah, nice yeah that works. Good for <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. What were uh, any of your two comfort shows? Oh comfort yeah, shows? what are your guys' comfort <laughs> shows? I have derailed this conversation so many times. I just finished my watch of Sopranos. Matt and I have been talking about Sopranos a lot because he he you watched did you watch it for the first time? I had never seen it and I yeah. went through it in October. Yeah, mm. we just finished it on Friday. I think we started it during the pandemic. I haven't watched it since it first aired. Which was like, the, what, the 90s? Or it started 97 in... 97 to 2007? It started in 97? Wow. I thought it started in like 99. Or 99 to 2007, yeah. excuse me. Mm -mm. It ended in 2007. I was, I think, at a period in my life, a big show rewatcher, but that was mostly with like sitcoms and stuff. But when it comes to like hour-long scripted dramas like that, I'm mm -hmm. not really one to go back and rewatch entire series. So this is like one of the first mm -hmm. times I've really gone back and done that incredible show. Uh, that just is really, one of the really, shows really that I also was going to watch with my roommate. Oh my God. And I couldn't get into it because she 
was so rarely around that it's like waiting like a month between episodes and i don't wait like, for someone else just start watching now i'm just kind of i have this weird resentment towards the show because i want to like it everybody's like sopranos baby it's, uh, i want to hop on the it's Sopranos. it's so baby crazy train. to like sarah and i would watch like one or two episodes every couple days or so in the evenings um it's just it was wild after a while i was like we've been doing this pretty consistently and it's crazy that after every episode, we're like, wow, another great episode. Mm. There's not a single bad episode. They're all very all good. Yeah. yeah. It's mm-hmm. all very, very good. Uh, and just the lead up to the end, which, uh, you know, I won't spoil anything if you you may be aware of how it ends. I don't know. Oh, I great. No um, it's, uh, it's just, I was, the ending just, I liked it when I watched it in 2007. And I, uh, I maintain that it is just one of the greatest it it just fucking rules. It also it's, okay. it's interesting that it influences like The Walking Dead wouldn't happen without Sopranos. Yeah, mm. Breaking Bad uh-huh. wouldn't happen without uh-huh. Sopranos, and you can see Mad Men wouldn't happen without Sopranos. Yeah. Like literally, the people who worked on those came from Sopranos. Uh, but you can. It's very interesting to be like. I have friends who go back and watch like The Matrix for the first time, yeah. and it's like it's hard to watch those things when they get like ripped apart and pieces get taken and redone and overdone and mm-hmm. everything Sopranos still holds up it really does okay. it was also interesting when i was watching it because like uh, the camera work in it and the the cinematography like it's not particularly flashy or uh because like that's the thing with a lot of prestige television now like a lot of very high budget or, or prestige shows are so slick glossy and glossy a lot of s- slick camera work and uh, Sopranos is not very showy. It's kind of, I was like, I think we may have taken some of the wrong lessons. Mm. Uh, mm. I completely oh. agree. Oh my like, God. I, the cameras in Breaking Bad where it's like unmotivated and it's like under the table. Or yeah. Something. yeah. What the some hell is that about? <laughs> in like a, like a old sky, like, yeah, it's, it's like fun to a degree, but I, I've seen people pinpoint um, House of Cards as being like mm. the show where where because fincher is just such so much style to his stuff that people just sort of just do that all the time now mm-hmm. and i think that gets in the way of like trying to figure out if a show is good or not because <laughs> mm-hmm. like stuff can look really good yeah and uh but the writing might not be yeah you know, a lot of sopranos are just like what's gonna happen now yeah how's this gonna turn right. into what you yeah know? okay god Anyway, Making me excited to watch it again. It was great. I, back it, it really, I didn't realize this when we started our rewatch, but it is very much a comfort show. The aesthetics it's of it are so just comfy because it's like so early 2000s. It's, it's very, and they live in like a McMansion, but it's, it's, yeah. it's nice to look at. Okay. And it's funny. It's extremely it's funny. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah. it's, I can't count how many times they just like, they, they just constantly have like the characters use words incorrectly. <laughs> it's very funny maybe i'll put walking dead aside and yeah indulge oh. in some sopranos. the nice thing about the Sopranos, it's nice to know that you're signing up for a show that never flags in quality and honestly just kind of gets better and better oh, truly i find that weirdly intimidating actually really yes okay so the other show <clears throat> that um makes me think of that is succession yeah and like I've gotten through the first season and a half of Succession and mm-hmm. I really enjoy it. Yeah. And I think it's good, but I'm also, it's also kind of an exhausting show. Oh, yeah. To watch. I get yeah. that. I that mean, I that one I, specifically is exhausting. It's not a comfort yeah. show. Okay. I guess no. also binging it, I could see being extremely exhausting. Yeah. For sure. I love week to week. I enjoyed it week to week. I and miss week to week shows. I know people who were mainlining The Curse. Uh, the mm-hmm. recent Nathan Fielder show who were like, oh my God, it's exhausting. I was like, I've n- I never felt exhausted. I was just f- sort of thoroughly entertained by this show. But I think if I had watched it all in one sitting, I'd be like, all right, that's a lot. That's enough. Yeah. You that's know what bad. show is exhausting uh, in one sitting is Severance. I yeah, love but, uh, Severance. I, could, I, I did watch it. it I, I watched needed, it like, twice. I needed a, a big nap. That's another comfort show that, for me, maybe. That, Severance is a comfort show? Yeah. It's too much for me. I love it. God it's damn. so good. It's great, but I uh, no, it's like running a marathon. I think you are the show. one actually who put me on Severance. I can't get over that. That I finale wait. with just the what is Severance two coming out? Music. They're filming it right now. Oh, they are. They they're on out. their. They're releasing the second one. It's coming yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, they only have one season. Yeah. Yes. Have you not watched it, Matt? No, I thought I remember I talked about Apple TV being like good shows that I'll never watch. Yeah, 
Also, Silo on Apple TV. I started that. I'm really into it. It's it's nice to talk about television. Anyway, sorry. We can talk about somebody else's topic now. We're so close (laughs) to what we originally started. It's fine. Yeah. We we didn't get that far off. It was TV. Great. <laughs> what was uh, what was my topic again? Shopping. This will be quick. Well, now we you, now we've previously I think talked about shopping malls, right? We ha- we have. I'm talking about the verb. The verb. Is shopping. So, shopping. Okay, and, and uh, I'm it, sure you're going to answer this anyway. But just a clarifying question: Are we talking groceries? Or are we talking? Hey, little trinkets. We're talking uh, it's Saturday morning, baby. That's right. We're talking about what you will get at the mall. What you will get when you're online. What would you would get? You know. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fashion. Uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, I have realized that there's nothing in this world that I... That Love. stresses me out more okay. <laughs> than shopping. Yeah. Really? For any, like a, any specific item or just in general? General shopping. What? Yeah. And, and even in specific items. I think because... I have very strong opinions about what I want, but I don't know what they are. I, mm. I have been accused of that in my life as well. <laughs> yeah. By your close uh, relationships? F- very fairly, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. And, well, and also like... It's like I can see something and say like, that is not... Not it. That's no good. I don't care for that. And then sometimes when I'm asked like, well, can you provide some clarity as to what a good alternative would be. I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> sure can't. But I know, I know when I don't like something, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I think part of it too is spending money stresses me out as well. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, there's that element of it. Like, okay. Uh, I, I Like, I know some people have like, and, and I don't want to call you out, Lizzie, but we've had this conversation before <laughs> where you say like shopping is one of your de-stressors. Yeah, and it's this weird, it's a weird cycle because it also financially stresses me out. (laughs) This is my problem. I like shop to de-stress and then I'm like, oh God, I have no money. I'm stressed out. How will I be less stressed if I shop? It's this horrible cycle of um, financial downward spiraling. (laughs) What if you, what if... So, uh, I would like to bring you guys here today to ask for a <laughs> d- double in my salary. A <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. Some, so, for me, when I go shopping, I just am miserable. I'm a horrible person to shop with. You're in the boyfriend chair? I'm in the chair. So, does this, uh, is this when you're looking for stuff for you or is this when Tammy's there? Myself. Anyone. My wife. Gifts. Anything, ever, and and I, I, you know, I just, I, I want to like shopping. Yeah, but also, maybe I'm not built for that life. What are the habits here? Are you, are you going? Are you saying it's? And this is for both of you. I'm curious. Okay. It's Saturday afternoon. You're at the mall. Yeah. Are you at the mall because you're like, I need a new shirt, or are you at the mall because you're like, I'd like to shop. Hmm. I so I don't really go to the mall okay. unless there's like a specific okay. item. But yeah. I, okay, out shopping in general, though. I is mean, it, is it is it goal oriented? Like, I need new shoes, or are you like, let's roll the dice, spin the wheel, see what I end up with today? I want to spend some money. Spend some money, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm never saying. I that. never never want to <laughs> no, spend never money. <laughs> But uh, I do frequently, and yeah. it's a problem. Um, my, you know, the blessing and the curse is that I don't need anything right now, but that's not going to stop me from going to spend money. Yeah, it's not great. Um, what I'm pretty good about not just mindlessly spending money in if I find myself at a mall or wherever. Um, my problem is Instagram. Yeah. Nasty, nasty, get nasty you. algorithm. That algorithm. You can delete that app. I bookmark so many of those old things. I'm like, look at this. Problem. This one's for ladies, but I could wear that. <laughs> 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 There's, I can't tell you how many times I've seen like uh, Instagram will show me some like gorgeous like color blocked sweatshirt, and I'll be like, oh hello, check out check <laughs> out that little you? number, and it's like for toddlers. 
Oh, <laughs> devastation. <laughs> Instagram knows that I like toddler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the puppet Baby um, chic. I don't outfit know. that you were buying early oh, on. No. My, my issues come from online shopping, and I'm never really looking to spend money. But like, let me tell you, there's some really good President's Day sales out. Oh, yeah. And Brooklyn and yeah. sponsor us. Yeah. Give me, give me some free stuff. Oh, Brooklyn in. Um, they have some of these waffle bath towels that I am oh. salivating for. Oh. I opened the Brooklyn and website. If you're like not watching the video, Lizzie is in. salivating right she now. She is. It's uncomfortable. I'm gonna, like swallow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you also re- a returner too? Because that part stresses me out too. Like you'll, my wife will just buy ten rugs. No, I'm a returner, and then she'll try them all on the floor, and then she'll return nine or ten of them. Yeah, I'm a returner most of the time. What stresses me out, though, is like I have a UPS drop box near me, which is nice. And I can there's a FedEx in a Walgreens that's walkable distance and USPS is walkable distance. You got it all. But if the UPS box does not fit in the return box, it's sitting there for weeks. Yeah. Right. I have one sitting up like in my kitchen right now that needs to be returned. And I'm getting close to the if it's not returned by this time, it's yours. I've uh, heard some area, statistic. But... I could be wrong about this. I just want people to do their own research. Mm-hmm. Okay. That some returned goods, a lot of them like don't get resold or something. Or a portion of them. I saw someone recently I making a point that. like beca- you know. Don't rely on returns as much. And I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, no, I I agree with that. Um, I like the comfort of knowing with clothes that I can return them if they don't fit. I generally know my sizes. That's the only stressor that really comes from clothes for me. That's why shoes I find to be the most stressful things to buy. Oh, those are the easiest. No, really? no those are the hardest. Oh, well, no, I, I get that thing shopping. where like, you know, you're at the store and you're trying some shoes and you're like, I, you've, how long are you going to walk around a, department store for wearing shoes you know do hey, like, live your best life they give you permission prince prance all two around and a half that hours place. walking around the just same try 20, some trotting what, some yeah. skipping but then you do that thing where you're like i don't know they feel tight and the shoe person at nordstrom will be like well you know they'll wear in mm. like but what if they don't yeah no i i get that i then guess i fucked. probably i probably buy enough <laughs> shoes that i i know i know if they're going yeah, to like you buy a lot more shoes <laughs> Yeah, you're like just an clothes, expert. Clothes shopping stresses me out. If just I, because I'm so, like, my appendages are so long, it's so difficult for me to find pants and sweatshirts that fit. So I have a lot of oversized stuff because otherwise my, like, you, even these are tall and you, they're, like, mm-hmm. halfway up my shin. So there's a few brands that I buy so much of because they're, I know they're long enough yeah. for me. Yeah, you, you have the Shaq problem. I have the Shaq. For, I Shaq has to have everything Shaq. custom made for him because his feet are like size twenty or something like that. And God, reach out to his problem. people. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> uh, Shaq's people, if you're watching this, please, uh, please comment below. We'll be in touch. Yeah. <laughs> well, last thing I'll say about shopping is I, I am very impressed by people who are good at shopping and also people whose love language is gift giving. I will never get along with somebody like not. I won't get along, but like, I will never. You'll growl at him like a dog. <laughs> You'll I, I think teeth. part of my my love language is not gift giving in any. It's like you know, no. my love language is not gift giving. It's <laughs> not giving gifts. I don't give. I no withhold gifts. gifts, and that's how we love. <laughs> but I think, and it's hard for me to receive a gift and be like, "Wow, you care about me." It's like time, and you know, uh, whatever touch, and all the other ones, right? Like, yeah. But uh, no, it's it's very impressive that people can like. Oh, I have a birthday coming up. I'm going to buy this gift for this person. And they already know right, right away. It's like, how do you have that skill? It's so impressive. There's, I'm also just like constantly, I feel like I get so in my head about gifts. And then, I mean, I'm with this, like, I'm this way with like creative stuff too. I spend so much time sort of mulling it over mm-hmm. um, that uh, then, you know, it's time to execute. And I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck. Um but with gifts, like, uh, and a good example is like, uh, when the first pandemic Christmas was going on, Sarah and I, uh, with my brother who lives in LA, we all did stockings for Christmas, which isn't something we've done in a very long time, but we I were like, stockings. well, we're stuck in LA. Why don't we, you know, we all tested for COVID. It was the first time we really were able to, you know, have a little holiday together in LA. Um, so we did stockings as a fun little thing. And, uh, 
we've done it since then. And every year I'm always like, what do I, what do I get for these? Mm. Terry's and chocolate orange. Always a banger. I do love a chocolate orange. <laughs> but right I don't think like sock, Sarah and my baby. brother like chocolate oranges, but they did get me one this year because they know them. I love them. I love them. Both of them. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> but, the, uh, <laughs> but I always like, I do that thing where I get gifts for people and then I see what uh, gifts other people are giving and I'm like, Oh, those are so much better. Those are better. Yeah. 100%. Ideas. And this they're thinking hate... outside the box in good ways. I'm like, I didn't think you could give that for a gift. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I th- I hate gift giving unless I stumble upon something that I'm like, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going on the hunt, thinking thinking of gifts. I can't. I can't do it. I'm so bad. I've Googled gift giving guides like a million. The, all the guides Same. online. Horrible, they're, by they're the bad. way. Horrible. Got a, that's a good idea. A website that's good. Yeah, somebody yeah. out there. <laughs> a, or if a you gift know website one, that's good. Put it in the comments because I want to mm. know. I hate like my dad is one of the hardest people to shop for because if he wants something, he just buys it every time. That's He's just, difficult too because as an yeah. adult, it's not you know. Different. Yeah, I was broke for a lot of my twenties, yeah. so I spent a lot of time not buying the things that I wanted. And now that I'm older and can afford, you know, if I'm like, oh, there's this little thing, maybe I'll buy that. I generally do. Yeah. You know, it's hard. And like anyone who just has the money and like the desire to purchase the things they want, buying gifts for them is freaking difficult. And these yeah. dad lists, but best lists for or best <laughs> gifts for your dad. It was so, like, it's like, here's a passport some holder. knives, <laughs> some whiskey glasses, the ember mug. Yeah. I'm like, I, <laughs> I love the ember mug. Mine broke. It's got but this stuff. It seems you know, nice. While but it like worked. better versions of it. Ember, was, send us some mugs. Didn't you trash Ember Mug on this podcast? I think you disparaged podcast? it. <laughs> well, I, I trust you've improved them. <laughs> Send us For some our mug. previous conversation. <laughs> I'd love to have a, a perpetually hot mug next to me right now, but Ember didn't send us any. Devastating. Uh, well, it's shopping for you. Shopping. It's, you know. it's fun. I love, you know, I like the th- thought of it. I like being out at a place. You know, maybe the only time I truly, truly enjoy shopping is like when I'm on vacation. Because mm. yeah. you're, you're, it's sort of like, well, whatever I buy, it's going to be a nice memory. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like the, mm-hmm. it's like calories don't count. I can spend money and I'm on vacation. So it's like, it's yeah. fake money. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's a lie. Uh, <laughs> yes. Vacation math. Yeah. Vacation math. I've, I'm, I mean, this has been pointed out in comments before, but all of my topics are just me learning how to be a human. So, hey, that's funny. hey shopping somebody out there teach me how to shop it's so funny before so <laughs> just i steven called me like half an hour before <clears throat> this podcast was happening he was like ryan's sick can you come in i was like sure matt comes in he's like do you know what's going on with the podcast and i was like give me the rundown and he's like come in with a topic you know chain pick something small like pencils and I don't remember what he said about Ryan, but he's like, Stephen picks something he wants to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. And it, it, it does cement so my position funny. more as the Larry David of this podcast. I feel like I, I have started leaning more and more into that identity as I've grown older. I feel like I am becoming the uh, what, what he is and what he represents in uh, pop culture. Yeah. Look, everybody likes complaining about things. So you you, defi- you define it as me complaining about stuff here. No, I I so I to be fair, I said, I said that. I think I said uh, what has been stressing you out. Ah, uh, yes. So yes. I said complaining, and, and he was the, like, I'm always stressed. I'm always, you know, you can't find me not stressed. So have you used this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What I is mean, that? People often this, ask about that. In Omega Mart, I also bought this exact same one. It's sitting in my desk. It's well, you a can you can draw attention it's... to it now because people have seen that on the set for a very long time. It's a time. really good stress who, ball. Who got this for us? I bought that when we were in Vegas for Ghost Files. Oh. It's from the Omega Mart. It's um, so what good. What are they called? Apples. Apples, because they're happy apples. They're happy apples. They have uh, they're little apples. They you squeeze them. They have little faces on them. They have some of the goodest stress ball squish most stress this balls are so hard that yeah. it's just it stresses me out more because i can't squeeze it because i'm weak and sad but the happles they've got a great feel Ooh, to them. Great you can feel. buy these uh, on their website i think I if anybody them. really wants these they're uh it's through uh meow wolf has uh i'm gonna get some heard of them i i had a stress ball and it broke, <laughs> it broke. <laughs> and that's how hard. stressful i am it exploded <laughs> or stressed i am yeah i i so broke funny. a stress ball in like less than a week that's a bad sign. Get back in your home. 
Do you, anyway. do you guys lay in bed and just think stressful thoughts? I know Ryan does. So I, I I love him being here because it, oh, it yeah. helps. No, I do all do the that. time. Yeah. So then I turn on a comfort show mm. and shop and shop. So that's shopping. A delight. Shopping. On to PJs. Pajamas. The Not the pajamas. private jet. Um, one of those. I bought some pajamas recently. Tell us about them. Well, you know, it's been a real wet winter here in LA. <sighs> okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I Talking about like, wetness, whoa, whoa, whoa. pajamas. Wet and chilly. <laughs> very chilly. Yes. Um, it's been a time to be slothful and slug like uh in our abodes. And I I do that thing. I don't I think this goes back to shopping and me saying that like I, I spend a long time dragging my feet on stuff. But when it comes to like shoes, mm -hmm. other things but like uh I, I need a handheld vacuum right now and i've just been researching ones for like a month or two and i'm like i should just I'm pull the trigger on one of these but i realized recently i just have not you know i have like two pairs of pajama pants that are like 10 years old and i was like i should buy some new pajama do pants. you wear those two sets every night though or two sets or two you just you have two pairs of pants I don't wear both of them at the same time. <laughs> he but you, you just you switch off between them and like yeah, you're not sleeping in like something like I slept in probably this last <gasps> night, you know? Yeah. What? Slept in? Really? You slept in and then That's wore so it to work? Hot. That's not what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So what I'll do is uh, many times I'll so just warm. sleep. I'll take a shower at night. I'll sleep in whatever. I used to be such I'm a sleeping night shower in. guy. And then I'll get up and I'll be wearing the same pants that I wore at night. Oftentimes a shirt I can't wear because it's like a it's like a giant shirt or something. Yeah. But pants I'll keep. I can't believe you wear sweatpants to bed. Well, I would die. I would overheat okay. and perish. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm completely <laughs> so commandeering your topic here. No, it's here. fine. It's a, it's a... I sleep like an insane person. I always go to bed fully clothed. Sweatshirt. Shoes. Shirt. Sweatshirt. <laughs> Sweatshirt, shoes on. shirt, sh not shoes because I'm not insane. Hat, scarf mittens, <laughs> but I have socks on, sweatpants, socks. You gotta thing. take the socks off. And then as when I go to bed, I'm great. And then as I get warmer, I just slowly uh, peel things off. So yeah, so the socks will come off first, and then the what? sweatpants will come off, socks and are... and then the sweater will come off. Sometimes the shirt will come off. When Depends. you say sweater, you mean just like a sweatshirt, like like something like not this, but like a sweatshirt. Yeah. You... yeah, yeah. Respectfully disgust me. <laughs> it's pretty weird. How can you wear sweatpants and sweatshirt to bed? How no, cold well, is your they'll, home? They'll come off slowly though if I get hot. And usually, the, yeah, ninety percent of the time. This is why you're not off. sleeping well. This is because why you have you're to not keep waking well. up to yeah. take no, off. Clothes. No, 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 no. It's, it happens in the span of like ten minutes. This is like a, <laughs> well, a ten minute process. How often go to bed in yeah, have normal? You, have you tried <laughs> doing that all at the top of it? <laughs> no, just, no, that's insane. I can't do that. You need to slowly transition into the night. You're sick. You're a but sicko. It sounds like you're slowly transitioning into the morning. You're a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> this is painful. So like it does drive Tammy insane because in the morning it'll just be a pile of clothing at the bottom of the bed. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. We I talked also about am <laughs> shook that socks are the first thing to go. You're yeah, like, so my body's overheating by socks. Yeah. Like the smallest piece of fabric that you could lose. <laughs> Is the first one to go. So you guys are just like fully ready when you're in bed and you're sleeping like yeah. that. Yeah, I will say I've turned I've <laughs> turned right. into a sock wearing person in bed. I used I to shame I them, and now I'm like that through the winter. Yeah, in the winter. Yeah, yeah. I guess I think nice your feet sock. actually stay. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends depends what kind of sheets you're working with. I have horrible circulation in my hands and feet. We actually this past weekend I went to the California Science Center with some friends, and um, That's they what had the a tour guide told you the tour guide. She go no, never mind. What? What? <laughs> What's uh, at the California Science Center? So they have this uh, a wing. It's called like ecosystems or something. And there's one that's a desert ecosystem. And in there they have um, a. Oh my god, I can't think of any words today. What's the heat camera? In thermal infrared. infrared. Thermal. 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 One of those two. You so, talking about predator or? <laughs> like a predator vision yeah um and so you know did you show up blue on the camera my hands did all my friends we were all waving at the camera and my hand was <laughs> invisible blue. because it was all blue oh my god um That's so funny. i have freezing hands like fingers and toes all the time yeah um so i've turned into a a socks for bed person but never ever would i wear a sweatshirt and sweatpants to bed wait okay well i run cold too 
But okay, I mean, so I your pajamas, too. you're you're. Well, I'm talking uh, my I'm, my pajamas too <laughs> are anyway. are before bed when it's like you know it's it's cozy time, it's comfy time. I'm putting on my pajama pants. But you look like the bananas in pajamas, like those type of pajamas. Well, no. So oh. it was usually just pajama pants, and then you know I've got some like nice comfy shirts that I'll wear that are, like that are generally designated as these are my bedtime yeah. t-shirts, but not like a collared. I never do the collared pajama pocket. top. But what, what I did recently is I did buy. Uh, so I bought two new pairs of pajama pants because I'm in flannel mm. mode right now, big time flannel mode. And I bought from the Vermont Flannel Company. I bought a a, a long pajama shirt. It's almost like a Henley. It's not like a button up, mm. you know, like pajama shirt. They're flannel. Um, I really like it. But they also sell one that's a long shirt. And I was really, really tempted. Like it's a, a bit Henley moo moo. Yes, it's a bit moo moo like. And <laughs> I was really, really tempted to go in on that. Look up Vermont Flannel Company. Yeah, let me see this thing. Long I, I kind of want in on this. Yeah, I, You're I'm, talking like uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. It's yeah. very Scrooge coated. Are you sleeping in that? No, no, no. The, no. How does this work? I tend to what just- What are pajamas for? Now that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I think at a certain threshold in the evening, and this is not true of every night, because a lot of nights I'll be in my jeans until like 11 p.m. or something, but until bedtime. Oh, um, you wear jeans inside your own home? I do. I'm. I'm Thank you. I'm we like talked that. about this before. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm very comfortable in like jeans. I love I'm, that. I wish I, I was. For me to go into... Uh, like my comfy clothes that has to be like Wind it's comfy down. time because hmm. I, if i i feel too there's something too slothful about just wallowing around like a nasty pig oh i love that <laughs> i love it the part nastier that, the better part of that came from the pandemic when we were working from home a lot where i was like if i wear pajama pants during the day when mm -hmm. we're working on stuff mm -hmm. then suddenly if i have them on at night when it's relaxing time it, it, it takes away the joy of them mm, i get that because i was wearing them during the day when i was stressing about stuff and working on a bunch of stuff uh so to i would i was very strict about my delineations of when i would allow myself to wear yeah but there's a there's a in between pajamas and jeans there's like a what like a chino. A chino. <laughs> <laughs> 6 p.m. It's chino time. I, well, I just wear, I just wear the three hour pants. chino block. I just wear chinos all the time because they're comfy because I feel like I'm I'm wearing pants, I, but I'm also not like... I see the value chinos? of chinos. Huh? Are they stretchy or something? How are they so comfortable? My chinos are, feel like I'm wearing like... like Chinos are a little... Hardboard. Chinos don't have a lot of give. They yeah, don't. Depending mm. on the... Actually, jeans have more give than chinos to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm cutting myself out of this. <laughs> Is this the shirt you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's Oh, nice. Look at I'm that. I'm not getting that We're one. looking at the that Vermont flannel. What's it called? Vermont flannel. Long night shirt. Long night shirt. If you get it, report back. I think that would go down to about my knees. Let me know if, hey, let me know if your, your long, um, your long flannel pants are good. I've never They're been really able good. I got them from, uh, uh, Land's End. Mm. <clears throat> I've never mm. been able to have never long pajama from. bottoms because they're never, women's sizes are too short for me mm. and it drives me nuts that like in the middle of the night before I even get into bed, my pants are like, yeah, here. that's no fun. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with them. I, the thing that remains that I'd like to look, I just used to really love flannel sheets. Flannel sheets are incredible it was warm they are warm but the thing is in illinois they were great because mm. my room used to be above the garage which oh. was always very cold yeah and then um in la our current unit is better because we have uh heating and air conditioning in it but my old apartment used to just you know they don't build places with like insulation in la it's not, yeah. they don't think about it so the a lot of buildings in la are very very like if it goes down to 40 at night our you know apartment will be like 50 in the morning that's that's chilly it is it, it is, is cold. Chilly. it's been cold recently and i love it and that's why i'm on my journey right i have now. i have two uh chimneys in my house are they functional two fire, functional fully, They're functional? fully functional you had two. Oh. where's the second yeah, one pretty great so one's many, in my bedroom so many nice gas or but wood but i would assume it, it's gas it's gas but yeah. it's it, in but it makes my room very cold because it's a, basically it's, an open yeah. duct mm. to my room yeah it's freezing and that's why i wear socks maybe sure yeah 
You got like, I, I, I like was facts. wanted to in olden times. I wonder how this would you know where they used to like heat up a bunch of water and put it underneath the bed, or they would put I like, do that. I don't think it was. A, to put, I think like, it was like coals under the coals bed. in a Sometimes pot coals. that they would like a water slide. bottle, right? Yeah, they're like a bottle. Yeah, to keep the bed warm. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know what I wanted to say about pajamas really, but I got some and I hope they're good. Report back. You know, you inspired me to get some. I I I do want to go get some. Yeah, we should do a pajama episode. Pajama episode? I I didn't say that. <laughs> Come in pajamas. Hey, you, sh- you should have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a slumber party. <laughs> Can you schedule that for the next time Ryan is ill? If we have budget, I want to be there. Budget in the podcast. We don't. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> okay. How long is that night shirt? Seventy eight. That's seventy eight dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I was going to say I'd buy it for the episode, but... All three of you can share. That's true. Long. I bet that would go down to my knees at least. One way to find out. We Mm -hmm. could return it. You could return it. Well, I think that's going to do it for this week. Uh, Lizzie, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Great to chat with you as always. Good times. Um, Oh, hey, uh, if you're listening to this and you're enjoying it, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, review the show. All of these things help us in many ways. And tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your parents. Tell your grandparents. And your kids. All and your extended kids friends. relations and their. Tell your neighbors. Yeah. And tell them to tell their neighbors. How do you, tell your, do you, do you bring your laptop your over? You're like, hey, check out Pod Watcher. Yeah. Just they just it. open it on their devices and let it run. Oh. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next week, everybody. Have a safe day. Yes, please have a safe day. Adios.